Welcome back to Frog and Pause Band. Last time we were finishing off some more dungeons and we got to start on Lonely Mountain and I think I'll just continue with Lonely Mountain for the moment. Maybe we'll try and do some quests or something. Uh, we did buy this amulet last time so our defenses are a bit better. In particular we now have two sources of resist fire. So with a temporary source of resist fire we're up to three, which is maybe enough to fight Smaug with. We'll see. Uh, the way I would damage him, I guess, is just Lightning Ball. But we might be able to do something better than that. I guess Rocket is not that far away. We'll see. I guess because we are already right here, we can quickly just duck down into level 40 and just see how we go against Smaug. Although there's a lot of dangerous stuff around. My stealth is pretty decent though, so I should be okay. I should also start carrying around mushrooms of pure poison, I guess. Yeah, that does a lot. Three in, three speed, free action. That's pretty good. We're getting resist nexus and shards from this one. Free action regeneration. I think I would rather just have the three in. Uh, we should probably hang on to it anyway. No sign of Smaug yet, so he might, I guess he is just somewhere on the left probably. Hmm, I guess not. He must be up here. Uh, I think I just saw him then. Yeah, okay, so he's over here. 
I don't know if he's able to push past the this sleeping guy here. We do only have one source of acid resistance, so I think I'd rather um, just destruct. get rid of that black dragon and Smaug should be able to find his way to us now and this layout is probably better for phasing away we're more likely to end up out of line of sight so what did I say I was going to do I should um, resist heat and cold first of all because he does that 168 damage plus 10 speed uh, if I move up one am I out of line of sight I think he can still breathe on me so I think I should phase good and then heal and this is alright I think I can just do this sort of thing. Hmm, but yeah, I don't think our damage output is that great. Sixty six damage. 3,000 health, that's like 50 turns. Hmm, don't think this is going to work out. So I guess I'll just destruct where I am to get rid of him and we can recall out. So I think I need better damage before I try killing him again. And the easiest way to get better damage is going to be to level up a little bit or alternatively to find book three of something like book three of armageddon would be nice but if i can't find book three of armageddon i can just get to level 34 and use rocket from armageddon 2. um so i could do angband a little bit more and I think I will just do that. It's a nice staff of teleportation. But yeah, hopefully just one of the um, level guardians for Angband will drop a nice book for us. That would be ideal. If not, I'm going to have to grind up a little bit.
So the level guardian for this one was the horde, which is interesting because I could fight him. And what the horde does is he summons lots of coin monsters. So I could fight him, teleport him away or something, and pretty much just reset the level once I've killed everything he summoned to get money very quickly. Uh, but there's nothing I really need lots of money for, so I don't think I will bother doing that. It's something you could do though if you wanted. In fact, I should probably just use Plasma Bolt to stun him. Oh, does he have um, reflection? He does. Okay, I shouldn't use Plasma Bolt then. I'll use Mana Burst. Ah, oh, he didn't summon anything. Run off Sound Bowl. Only two charges, but I guess I'll pick it up. Nexus hounds I don't want to deal with. Let's just go down these different stairs. Also like a better rod of detection. It's a bit annoying having to wait for it to recharge all the time. This guy does summon stuff, but he doesn't have reflection, so we should just be able to stun him with Plasma Vault, hopefully. I kind of want to get rid of all of these orcs. Oh, he's awake. Maybe I should just teleport him away. Yeah, I'll do that. Teleport him away, kill all of these orcs, and then go track him down. He is right there, so that's convenient. And plasma vault. Let's use sound ball as well, because why not?
Um, Doves of free action and boots of free action, I think. I would rather have the boots of free action than the levitation boots. So let's wear those, although I don't want to hang on to the levitation boots. I can drop heroism. Is that another book three of craft? It's twice that someone has dropped book three of craft, which is probably the most useless book. Uh, I guess I should go back to town and drop off some stuff. up to here it was sting quest what other quests have I got going dark elven lords I could do genie's cavern I could do as well I could do some of these yeah let's just do some quests to break it up a bit Uh, gloves of Pippin, probably won't wear them, but we'll pick it up. And nothing else worthwhile was dropped, I don't think. So I think uh, that's the end of the Thieves Guild questline. With a pretty mediocre amulet of tricky, trickery as the reward. I guess I will pick it up for that plus five stealth that could be useful. If I want to do the Angband Acquirement Run. Um, how much is it for that? It's around 100k. Probably a little bit more because I'm a skeleton. 140k. So that's a while away if I want to do that. What was the other quest? Ginny's Cavern. And maybe we could do a little bit more of Arena. Uh, Ethan does lots of shards damage and has lots of health, so I don't think I can take him at the moment. Let's see if we can go finish the Genie, Genie's Cavern quest.
He's not awake, is he? Okay, good. This guy can be dangerous because he can summon monsters. I've had it before where he summoned Baba Yaga into this quest and I've just had to leave. I guess if we just kill him really quickly, hopefully that's not a big deal. Although I'm not killing him very quickly. And he summoned a Topaz Monk, which is going to be a pain. Okay, good. Um, that's better than our armor, let's wear that. Gives us Nexus as well, which is kind of nice. And I think the reward for this one is a sling of the Hunter. If we're lucky, we'll get telepathy from it. Although, I guess telepathy doesn't matter as much on this character. Oh no, hang on. I'm thinking of another quest, I think. Yeah, Artifact, Feanorian, Lamp. Uh, I don't know if that's... Galadriel was giving us Dark Resist, which isn't a very useful resist, really. This one is also not very useful. It pretty much just gives us hold life. So I think I'll hang on to Galadriel instead. And let's do Angband until the next level guardian in that. I don't think we want to fight this guy. I guess we do have nether resistance. And he doesn't have reflection so we could bl uh, plasma bolt him. Oh, I don't have any heroism. I guess we'll just teleport the fear master away. Too bad. So he's up there, I guess the level guardian is right at the very top of the level. Wait, who was the level guardian? I thought it was something starting with G. Does level feeling tell me? Yeah, that guy. There he is. He's right up at the very, very top right. Ah, uh, he's even worse. I don't want to fight him either. Um, what do we do? Probably just abandon the level. Go do something else. Is there something else that I'll do? Could go back to Lonely Mountain and just grind there for a while in hopes of either getting to level 34, was it, for Rocket? 
or a dragon dropping a spell book for us. 34 for rocket. Hmm. Or I could start a new dungeon. So we've finished Orc Cave, Camelot Labyrinth. Uh, we could do a little bit of Snow Castle. But Snow Castle is kind of dangerous. I guess I'll just go. Hmm. I wonder if it's stupid to do arena. Probably, because I don't have enough damage really to kill things at the moment. I need to find a better way of doing damage. Alright, so I guess I'll just grind Lonely Mountain for a little while. And I need to get off of this level. Because Smaug lives here. Chaos Strike, um, don't actually want to deal with him. Lord Drake is fine, I'll resist both sound and shards. Alright, to that, yeah, the Chaos Strike woke up. Teleport away that guy, kill this guy. Teleport away you, and we're good. Staff of Telepathy is probably worth picking up. I might want to get rid of the Telepathy spell and replace it with something else at some point. In which case it will be good to have a consumable staff for Telepathy instead of having to rely on finding equipment. Ancient Blue. Uh, don't really want to deal with an Ancient Blue. Let's see if I can find a downstairs. Oh right. 
Don't want to be on level 40. That's a good ring. Uh, I wonder if that's worth replacing the ring of speed with. I guess not, since the only spell we have a high foul rate on is Word of Destruction. And we were wearing a decreased magic ring before I put this ring of speed on. Pick it up though. Uh, let's just recall back. Drop off you and drop off... What else? Mm, nothing I guess. Back down we go. Chaos, so I don't really want to deal with him. I don't resist chaos. No. Well, there's level 32. So we're getting closer. Plus three in resist fear and hold life. That's definitely worth wearing. We lose dark resistance, but that's fine. Down to 0% on all of our spells. Except for Word of Destruction, but whatever. Red Knight, is that the one that can summon? No. Oh yeah, Dimension Door also, but not too far away from level 35 from Trump. We have one of those at home, yeah.
And that one is worth picking up. Just for the mana. Cavlax. Um, we do resist Nexus and Sound. We resist everything he breathes except for gravity. So maybe I'll have a crack at him. We'll just see how we go. He can path to us, I think. So let's wait back here for him. Clairvoyant, I want to get rid of. Right, so what does he resist? Not mana, obviously, and also not plasma. Probably better off just doing mana burst, because that's more mana efficient. Ooh, that's a lot of damage though. What was his gravity? That was like 200, right? Yeah, 200. Well, he shouldn't be dangerous now. I thought I resisted Nexus. I do resist Nexus. 30% uh, isn't enough to completely negate the side effects. That was over there. Um, but yeah, he should be less dangerous now because he's lower on health and monsters that use breath attacks, the damage is a percentage of their max health pretty much. Or their current health, I should say. That is bad. Slowing us. Okay, good. Looks like he didn't really drop anything worthwhile though. And this clairvoyant keeps on coming back. Clairvoyant, interestingly, did drop something, but that's not really something I'm interested in. Pick it up anyway. I should go try leveling up in swamps instead, that might be quicker. Now that I'm higher level, these swamps are better. I think I should also learn Confused Monster again so I'm not so reliant on the staff. Also a good way of getting um, money. Seven headed Hydra, that's what we want. Even that only gave us around 2k XP. So maybe this isn't the best method.
Yeah, it's pretty slow. This is always the slow part for mages. Once you've kind of hit a wall with your book two spells, you need to find book three. Well, we do have lots of money from doing this, so maybe it's worth visiting Zul and just seeing what's there. Ah, actually, we have enough money to do Angband. We could do an acquirement run in Angband. That might be worthwhile. If we get book three or book four for an actual useful realm, that'd be great. Also got a potion of restore mana from that Lizard King. I'm now fully expecting it to be destroyed by a Cyclops soaring a boulder. Nope, serious wounds. Probably do this for a little bit more just to get more money and then we'll go do Angband and Acquirement Run. I feel like we're seeing a lot of craft spell books. Here's an atom, which is not worth dealing with. Do this for a little bit more, and then I'll go to Angband. Let's see, I'll call it the next seven headed hydra we come across. I was sort of expecting this to happen. In uh, the swamps here, it's actually high enough level that you can encounter this unique skiller. And um, it doesn't resist confusion, so we probably could kill it, but it does also come with a ton of Hydra enemies. If I manage to just confuse all of them though, we're good. A lot of gold as well from this. Uh, we are running out of mana though. And also our confused monsters is completely drained. Should use resistance. Uh, I'm out of mana again. Uh, I could teleport away just so I can pick up all of this money. You can go away as well, please. 
And we can use Vein Prism to get back health. That works. Uh, all the Hydras are coming back now. We do have one more charge. One of the seven headed Hydras resisted that one, but that one's also almost dead. In fact, we might be able to kill all of this stuff. I definitely want to pick up all this money. And I would like to kill Skiller as well. Don't have any more Confuse. I guess I could do the Restore Mana to get charges back on that, but that really seems like a waste. Hmm, lots of poison. Maybe I'll just pick up the money and leave. Back to Moravar, and we have 268k from all that, which is pretty nice. Let's pick up, oh, let's drop the mana, pick up a amulet, because we had that amulet of trickery with plus five stealth. So with that, what are we getting from our current amulet? It is electricity, fire, and cold. So we'd be single resisting all the base elements still. If we wear the amulet of trickery, we are down to heroic, sorry, up to heroic stealth. Uh, I don't have any scrolls of destruction, I don't think. I guess to be safe, because I'm a little bit worried about just dying, I'll go to 97 instead of 98. That way I can teleport level and I won't run the risk of teleporting level and ending up next to Oberon. Right, so let's go do the Angband Equipment Run. Do all our buffs, Telepathy, Regen and Haste. Let's quaff resist heat and cold, I guess. Should probably also get heroism. Right, so let's do that again. All the buffs. Resist heat and cold, heroism. Teleport to Angband 97. Here we are. Nothing near us, nothing near us, great. Gerard over there, he can go through walls I think. Yep, he can go through walls. Uh, as long as he doesn't wake up, that's fine. These guys also, I think, wake up pretty easily. So let's just read our requirement and get out. Armor of the Demon. Not bad. Five poison, confusion, nether. Not really interested in that though. Give me a book, please. Nope, that sucks. Alright, so those requirements were pretty subpar.
Come on, Templar, what do you do? Summon angels. Let's destruct. Why are you confused? And at half health. I guess he might have been fighting some evil monster. Alright, there we go. So that acquirement run didn't really go very well. I mean, it went well in that we didn't die, but we didn't get anything out of it. We are level 33, so we're pretty close to being able to cast a rocket. Let's drop off the armor and the amulet. And let's just double check. So yeah, 34 for rocket. Or what else? Maybe there's a damage spell in one of these other books I can use. Nether Bowl. Nah, it's pretty expensive and the damage isn't that great. In Death Book 2, nothing too exciting. Death Book 3, also nothing too exciting. Yeah, I guess we're just stuck until level 34, then we can learn Rocket from Armageddon Book 2. Uh, but I think I've been playing for around an hour, so we'll call it there for now. Thanks for watching, see you next time.